Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome back to my channel. I have another plant haul for you guys this week and I think it's it's actually all philodendron bar one plant and this one plant, it's not really me hauling it. I just wanted to show you it because I thought it was cute and I'm probably gonna keep it and see what happens. So it's not really a plant that I'm hauling but you'll see what I mean in a minute. We have some, some variegation in this haul as well. And I don't know the last time I hauled something variegated. I think it might have been a while ago. It's been a while. So I have some of those to show you. I've got some very interesting things to show you. I've mentioned them on my channel before, but I've never had one in person. So I'm pretty excited for that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six plants to show you today, but I'm really hauling four. Before I start, if anybody doesn't know, I put this plant next to me today to fill up my frame. This is Philodendron Luxuriance. It was like this pretty much when I brought it in. It hasn't done very well. I think lack of humidity has actually split this leaf a little bit. But I thought I'd pop her here today. She's bigger than this, I must say. She actually has another really big leaf. You just can't see it. So I'll pop her back. So that is her there. She's not part of the whole. I've had her a while I just thought I'd bring her out and show you because she's getting really nice and big and pretty so on with the haul what should I start with this is always a difficulty every single time I'll start with a plant that I'm not hauling but I have it because I think it is not what it is it might be something else but I just want to kind of take note here and show you this little thing this little guy because he's so cute I really want to grow him out and see what happens to him because this first little plant I'd like to talk to you about is the only anthurium in this haul and it, I'm pretty sure it was sold to me as crystallinum and it, it does look like one, but it also doesn't. It just looks slightly different. And obviously it could be a natural variation in that or it could be something else. This one has a much redder petiole and I've actually brought it to the flat. So that's like a dropping at my feet. I've brought it to the flat to cross check it with my anthurium crystallinum that's next door and it is different. So maybe it's just a slightly different crystallinum, but I want to show you this little guy because he's so cute. Like he's just, I don't know what it is about him that's different. The color of him is very different to other ones. As I say, he also has some red going on down his petiole. He might be a regular old crystallinum. I don't know. To me, he looks different. He certainly looks much rounder and I don't know. Anyone else agree with me? He looks more normal on camera. I will say that, but He's just coming off a little bit different. I don't know. And again, this isn't part of the haul. It's just something I want to show you. He just looks a little bit different. We'll see what happens with him. Imagine if he stayed really small and cute and stumpy. That would just be the best thing ever. I would love that. I would have loads of these if they just stayed like this and just got more leaves. He's probably just a crystallinum. I just want to show you anyway, because he's just cute and he's a bit different, but we'll see what happens with him. He's just a little cute thing I want to show you. He's not really part of anything. Okay, so the first official plant in my haul, I've mentioned this a while ago and I don't know if anyone caught it. I probably mentioned it in a repot with me, so people might not know this, but I already have one of these plants but I want to buy another one to add to it to just make it more full, you could say. And the plant I have is a little bit sad looking. It's still rehabbing a little bit at the minute. Um, so it's a little bit floppy. It's in Lekka right now, but yeah, that is quite floppy. But I have here the most beautiful, the most cute Monstera aurea. Small form, not large form. It's really cute, as I say. It has this leaf here. I hide it out of my face. We have this leaf here. Then we have this one that's had a little trim. I didn't trim it, my seller trimmed it for me before I got it there, where it's obviously had a little bit of browning. And then the new leaf here that is, I mean, I don't know if it looks floppy, but it is very, very, very floppy right there. So that's him, he is vining. He needs to go up a pool ASAP because he's just, if I hold him next to me, you'll just see how kind of floppy he is. Um, as I say, this is still in the rehab stage and I don't know how well he's doing. I should probably check the roots because I would have thought he would have plumped up by now and he kind of hasn't. So we shall see. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I have purchased this to go with my larger Monstera Aurea just to get a bushier plant because I don't know if people are aware of this. I'll put this on the table here. I don't know if people are aware of this, but that big Monstera elbow behind me isn't one vine. And I do get a lot of questions about this. I can't remember offhand how many vines are in there. There's at least three vines. It's possible that there are four. So if anybody's wondering why my Monstera elbow behind me looks like really big and bushy, and you just think to yourself, why does hers look like that when mine doesn't? It has more than one vine in. It was sold to me that way. I haven't like added them separately, just in case anyone was wondering. So because I'm used to looking at a fuller, bigger, bushier looking plant, I love my Monstera Aurea. I think it's beautiful, 
but it'd be really good to try and get a second one with it just so it looks a bit bushier. So that's why I bought this. Um, will it make it? I don't know, you know. It's looked like this for a little while and I really thought it would have plumped up. I've had this since the 13th of August, I've had this since. So I don't know, I would really expect a little bit more from it by now. But yeah, that's her. Very pretty. I'm not gonna plant it probably until I notice a little bit of an improvement on that floppiness, because that's not right. I know it's not right, so I will wait a little bit. If something happens to it, I'm just gonna have to get a different one, I think, and add it, so. Right, next plant. Oh, okay. Um, let's do this one. This plant here, I, I hadn't, it's not that I hadn't heard of these, I just hadn't had one, hadn't wanted to have one, didn't care about them until I went to Thailand in March, February, March time, early this year. Uh, a few people might remember that. And I saw these plants out there and I instantly loved them. And I think I got, I think I literally got two of them for my shop and they sold. And I haven't had any in since, but I'm pleased that I actually have one now because I've really took a shine to them in the time I had them in the shop. Long story short, I liked it more and more than what I saw it and I got attached. So I've got one for myself. It is still a little bit floppy as well. I'm not happy about either of these plants that are coming in because not all of them are. I think it's just these two plants here that are a little bit on the floppy side. But this is Philodendron Domesticum variegata. Really, really pretty. I've waited a long time for this plant, can I just say. Obviously, COVID has just made everything horrendous in terms of getting plants, but I've waited a long time for this and now I have it. It's It's got good variegation. I'm just not, I'm not loving how floppy it is. There's some leaf damage that I've only just noticed now actually from shipping. It's not gonna make it, this leaf. It's it's apparent to me now as of recording this, it wasn't before, but this leaf, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the back of that or not. Maybe you can, maybe you cannot. It's obviously got a hole in it and it's scarred, scabbed over and it's, it's not gonna make it. And I have just noticed that now. So that explains why that leaf's a bit floppier. This one's just floppy generally. Um, it does have some new growth, but in classical, sectoral variegation style. It's gone a little bit brown. Don't know if you can see that there. Right there, you can see it's gone a bit brown on the new growth, so I can't expect much out of this leaf. It does look very yellow though, which isn't amazing. We'll see how that goes. So this has got a lot of growing to do. So if you see this on future videos, it's gonna look worse before it looks better, but that's the game, right? So I mentioned this in my rehabbing plants after shipping video, but in a lot of cases, not all cases, but it is highly likely that when you get a plant in like this, and it has large chunks of sectorial variegation, and it's not a Monstera, because Monstera are a little bit more tolerant of this, but variegation on stuff with thin leaves, the variegation is highly likely to go brown and just not make it. You've still got your plant, right? You've still got kind of what you paid for in the sense that the variegation is in the it's in the plant so it's going to grow back but what can happen when you get stuff with more sectoral chunks is if it's had a bit of a rougher ride you may lose it you may just lose large chunks of the leaf it's fine it will live but that is a little bit of a peril of shipping them but i think this one's going to be okay it's looking a little bit weird on here we'll just see what happens really and this is just it's just what you go through isn't it when you get plants in so I'm a little bit sad about that new growth. It does look a little bit yellow anyway. It is hard to tell how yellow that actually is. So that's her right now. My camera just doesn't want to do it today, guys. I'm really sorry. It's constantly picking a fight on what it's going to focus on. She's picking a fight with me big style with this camera. Her leaves may drop. This stuff may happen to this. So if you see this and it looks totally different, that's probably why, to be honest. Still a very beautiful plant. Anyway. That was Philodendron Domesticum variegata. It is very beautiful, but it needs some time to chill and do its thing. So, next plant. Okay, I have another variegated plant to show you guys. This one is quite popular, I would say. Now, I used to have one of these, and technically I still do. So what happened is I had my own version of this plant I'm gonna show you. 
and I, I cut it down maybe a few months ago now. Some point earlier this year, I cut it down. I chopped it into nodes because it was growing really weird. It had an all green leaf, then an all yellow leaf. Then it got to the point where it was producing leaves that had both green and yellow within the one leaf. And I really wanted to cut it and propagate it and just create new plants from that. So they were just more, more stable, more aesthetically pleasing, whatever have you. So I did that and pretty much every single cutting I took, I think it is literally 100% death rate on that. Every single one leaf node cutting I took died. So I still have the mother plant with the roots and I think I have the original leaf that it was shipped with, but I have nothing else. And that lives at the shop. So I bought myself a replacement so that I don't have to go through that heartbreak again. Hopefully it won't happen again, but this is the gamble that you play with variegation. So enough talking. I would love to show you, oh, was that a new leaf? Oh, it's tiny. So the next plant I have to show you, albeit slightly dirty leaves, is none other than the Philodendron Florida Beauty. And it is a beauty. So I'll take you on a quick tour of this plant. I really, really, really hope my camera wants to focus. This is one leaf right here. It's honestly, that's too variegated. If you are looking for variegation when you are buying a variegated plant of any kind and you're looking for, you know, how much is too much, how much is too little, Honestly, 50-50 ratio is probably the maximum you'd ever want on your plant because variegation is going to slow the plant down when it grows anyway. So try and keep it 50-50. This technically is too much, but I will show you the other leaves as well. So you have that leaf there. You have this leaf here, which is all green, nearly all green. It's not actually fully green. You can see there is some variegation on the back of that. So we have that leaf there, we have that leaf there. We have this one here, which is a little bit more like what you should be looking for when looking for a variegated plant. If I just move back a little bit more, right there. This is actually the new leaf that's come out. And to be fair, it is very adorable. Now, the variegation on these plants is a little bit more Polaroid than say an Albo Monstera. When an Albo Monstera pushes out a variegated leaf, you can see that straight away. The variegation is fully developed. You can just see what's white, what isn't. Certainly with, to be honest, with a lot of plants with yellow variegation specifically, we call it Polaroid variegation where the leaf emerges and you can't really tell what's variegated and what isn't. And it takes some time to show that. It really does depend on the leaf. So I don't know if you guys can tell where the variegation is there. It is visible, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm going on like it's not visible. It is. It's just, it's not insanely obvious. So it's not the biggest plant, but it is very, very adorable. And luckily these leaves haven't taken a dive during shipping. When I say take a dive, I mean decline or go downhill, we'll say. Yeah, really, really beautiful plant, loving it. I loved the first one. It was just a nightmare to grow and I cut it and I took a risk and it didn't pay it off. It looks pretty, doesn't it? So unbelievably pretty right there. So that is my Philodendron Florida Beauty and it is beautiful. I'm gonna put her down here. I'll try and move it so you can see her, but don't know if you're going to be able to. A lot of people seem to like these plants at the minute as well. So I can see why they look very beautiful. Very hard to propagate, take it from me. Very hard to propagate, not great not great at all. So the next plant I have to show you is larger. It's the largest plant I have to show you today. Uh, that doesn't mean to say it's huge. It's just larger than the other plants. It's the last plant I'm gonna haul for you because the last one I just wanna show you in conjunction with what I'm gonna tell you about this plant. That won't make any sense right now, but it will in time. I've wanted one of these since the second I saw one. I'm really passionate about these plants. I just think they're brilliant. I'm thinking about it now and I can't remember. It's a hybrid plant and I cannot remember the other parent of this plant. So I featured this plant in a dupes video. It's probably the only dupes video that I've done to date on my channel as of recording this video, because this plant happens to share some characteristics with another plant that is considerably more expensive, that is also very hard to get. But I want to celebrate this plant today because it's really awesome. And I think if you're looking for something with this kind of appearance, then this is a good fit. So this plant here, I'm going to try and rotate it the best I can. It's got two leaves, but it's a nightmare to hold this up and I'm probably gonna get liquor like everywhere. But this, let me just hold it up for you right now. Swizzle around in my chair. This right here is Philodendron Jerry Horn, 
also known as philodendron ecuadorian canoe i believe and it is epic i love this plant i cannot wait to grow a nice big juicy one i'm pretty sure it's a climber so i can grow really big and tall up a moss pole or something like that but the cool thing that you probably can see straight away about this plant if i try and tip it up i might just have to pull them like that you can see and i can't really touch the plant because i'm having to pull it with my hands it's got the biggest earlobes on it look at those look at the size of those look at them they're brilliant really really big pointy ears they do get a little bit fatter i'm just gonna call them cheeks for now because that's kind of where it sits on the plant the leaf here usually gets a little bit wider and you can get kind of like florida beauty-esque points on them this specific one doesn't really have much i'll show you the other leaf in a second but it's just awesome it is an awesome plant you got these huge big lobes on this plant right here and then not only that not only that not only that but you have this amazing length and i mean length when i say length i mean she long but you have this beautiful length that just goes on and on and on little head test on that and you'll see what i'm saying it's so long i love it that's the back of her there look at those lobes honestly look at those lobes really really hard to hold this up i really apologize if you're just not getting the best sense of this but that's what she looks like so Quick tour of this plant, cause it's awesome. And it's my favorite thing at the minute. Really, really long on the front, all green. Obviously the ears to die for, the length to die for. The shape of the leaf overall will change a little bit. This arguably is a thinner one that I'm showing you, but that's kind of what you've got on the front. On the back, as I said before, no red, no nothing, just green. Then if I turn it around, I'll show you the other leaf that is a little bit more misshapen. and is a little bit fatter than that one, but show you that the best i can it does have a little bit of damage at the top of the sinus there the, it's not quite as pointy this one but it is still very pretty and it's not quite as long and it is a little bit fatter if i move back from the camera you will see what i mean it's a really really nice one to have this one has new growth coming in um it's probably not going to be quite as amazing as this one because this leaf is a little bit more mature i would say and i think that's probably come as a result of chopping it so one thing i've definitely noticed about these is that they do ship pretty well i haven't really noticed much of a problem with this and i think that's just because it's a structurally really sound plant it's got really nice thick meaty petioles so generally in my opinion based on me shipping these in they're quite good so far take that as a preliminary assessment because everything can change but so far so good on that but i just i mean oh, honestly it's these ears look at that brilliant brilliant plant so that is philodendron jerry horn also known as philodendron ecuadorian canoe i'm arguably the most excited about this one actually just because of the, the drama of these leaves so i'm loving that so the last plant i have to show you is not it's not part of a haul but it's kind of connected to this and i did do a video on this a little while ago on some dupes for certain plants but this is what i would consider another dupe and because i had it in the shop i wanted to show you it along with this um, because I think it's a really nice plant and it's beautiful. It does sometimes get confused with some other plants and you can kind of see why, to be honest. But I want to show you this because it's, if you're looking for something like this type of plant, this gives you like similar vibes. It's, you know, it can get good ears on it. It's long, it's thin, it's, it can be dramatic. This one can have kind of like a bluey silver tinge on it, which is extra nice. And this one does have red backing as well. So if you haven't already worked it out, this is philodendron atabapoensi. So this plant, if you, I mean, you can already tell before I put it to the camera. Look at that. Look at that. Sorry for the fingernails, by the way. This is the type of red-backed long leaf thing that you might want to have, to be honest with you. This is glorious. Okay, so I've got two in the pot. I should probably mention that. I've had these in since, is that May? <laughs> yeah, I've had these in since May and they're a bit ridiculous. They're sharing a pot, they need separated. They probably need propagated as well. But these are my philodendron atapapuensi. So technically there is plural in there. I need you to understand how amazing that is. It's kind of like Dark Lord coloring. If you've seen philodendron Dark Lord, it's similar to that. Only honestly, I think it's a bit stronger than that. I think philodendron Dark Lord is a bit more burgundy than this, whereas this is just like red boy. If you want a red boy, this is your boy, definitely. I wanted to show you this plant because I know that a lot of people are looking for certain types of plants, but I believe 
that these plants kind of fulfill that desire. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do have a video on plant dupes um, that you can search for on my channel. But stuff like this is really, really cool. And it's more obtainable. I want to say the word obtainable. I'm probably not using the right words here, but I need to stop, quite frankly, worrying what words are the right words on this channel. But this plant is a lot more obtainable than some others. And it is also beautiful and I want to showcase it because I don't think I've had one of these on my channel. I think I did briefly and it was a long time ago. But this is her and she's just great. Again, two in the pot. But look, just look at that. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. And every leaf has it on, all of them. Look at that. If I kind of pop this back, I'm trying, you know, I'm going to try and tip it up without causing a scene. I mean, look at that. That is just beautiful. Beautiful little ears on them. Obviously, when they're more juvenile, they look a little bit more like this. Are you going to focus, please? Look a little bit more like this. And then they get a little bit older. And then they look a little bit more like this. And you will notice a kind of blue cast. I don't know if I can compare it here with jerry horn i think you can kind of say i say blue it's it's more silvery it's like a frosted green but there is a color difference there so this is a really nice plant to have if you're looking for stuff with this kind of appearance with this kind of vibe if you will it's a really nice plant i'm not hauling it today i just wanted to talk about it really quickly in conjunction with this amazing plant that i am hauling today because they're both beautiful plants i think that's all i have to show you today let me know your opinions on any of these plants do you like them do you not like them are they for you are they not for you are you still thinking you know what yellow variegation isn't for me because i know that was on a lot of people's minds when we last talked about that a lot of people don't like yellow variegation. Thank you for watching this plant haul today. I will probably do a repot with me next week and I will, as usual, open up discussions on Instagram prior to me filming that. It's probably gonna be on maybe Sunday, something like that. And I will ask you guys what you'd like me to talk about. Oh, one more thing before I go. And a lot of people are gonna like this. Some people are not gonna care about this, but a lot of people are gonna like this. I just got notification two days ago that my Hoyer have shipped. So the haul that I did on my last video, I will be doing another one real soon. And I am so excited about these Hoyer. So you'll get that really soon. I don't know how long that's going to be in the mail for. I do not know. Hopefully we will get it. Maybe it will go missing. I don't know. I've had a lot of problems with that this year with COVID. If you like this video, then please leave a like down below. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, then please hit that subscribe button. I will leave the link to the video I'm talking about down below when I mention things looking similar to other things. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye guys.